to what our governing body did. Um, they put in place a mechanism that had an instance of what happened last July, where we didn't have somebody, I, mean, I understand somebody read the meters, it didn't go on the thumb drive, etc. cetera. Uh, but so technically, someone didn't read the meters on July 1st. Um, and instead, we sent out bills that, the bills not only took everybody's time to try and figure things out, right? We had the 17, we got them out. We sent somebody back out to, we sent somebody back out to take their time to redo everything. And then we send out a four month bill. We go through those bills, we correct the bills, and we put the, the charge for four months on there. One second. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, you know it is, I, I, yeah. Could you refrain from speaking yeah, because we're getting feedback and we're not hearing her very well. Okay, thank you. So we instead send out, and I know this took a lot of people's time. I, I certainly heard it. I could only imagine the time that it took. Instead of sending out last year's estimated time for that period of time, stamping estimate on it, and then when we have the correct calculation, it would all work out and people wouldn't be in this. Here's the situation that really bothers me. We have an ordinance. Our governing body, at one point in time, indicated this is how we would handle this situation. This situation was not followed in that manner. And then we sent out bills that not, we took the time to put on another four months. We kind of messed with our sewer charges because of it. And what we also did was we left the date June 30th, 2019. So even though a small percentage, from what I've been informed, have come in or emailed or asked about it, most people have no idea, probably, if their bill is wrong. Because they received a bill, they may have just done what I kind of did right away and said, oh, you know what, I, I got a few new bushes and I made sure they were ordered this season. I, because I didn't see the date change and I didn't see a big stamp that just said estimate on it. I would have been able to handle that differently had we followed what I think our ordinance is here for. So I'm just trying to understand why we didn't and and what we can do in the future with that. I have another issue with respect to it, but I do have the ordinances here. Um, it certainly messed with our sewer rates, but... It did, and um, the governing body was aware of what took place, and the... Um, issues come to play, the next quarterly reading, which will be read on October 1st, will only be a 60-day read. So my estimation looking at 2,038 bills, and I went through every single one myself on a Sunday morning <coughs> to the afternoon for seven hours, uh, reflects to me that the water usage is the water usage, and yes, it did throw many people into the sewer, into the next tier. What's gonna happen is the next read for 60 days. Um, I'm not gonna say there's no doubt in my mind, because there is, but it's gonna throw most people that were over last time down two tiers. Now, if you give an estimated bill, which we used to do, if you give an estimated bill, and then the water usage, even though it might be 60 days, comes in a little bit higher, it's gonna skew it again. So it's like, how many times do you skew it on an estimate when ultimately it catches up to you. And in this situation, out of 2,038 bills, I think 50.